Welcome to our quick guide on the Kik Vapo 2. The Vapo 2 is designed for the beginner, intermediate level vapor. It's easy to use and looks sleek and stylish. The Vapo 2 comes in a variety of colors to choose from, so you can find one to suit you. Now once you've chosen the right Vapo 2 for you, it's time to assemble its three parts. One, a battery. The Vapo 2 battery is a 900 milliamp EVOD style battery. Two, a clearomizer. We use a Kik Pro Tank here. And three, a USB charger. When you open the box, the battery is around 70% charged, so it's ready to use straight away. The battery is the coloured metal tube in the packaging. The clearomizer, in this case the Kik Pro Tank, is the metal and plastic section with see through sides. This is the tank that holds your e-liquid. To get the Vapo 2 up and running, you will need to fill the Pro Tank with e-liquid. The Pro Tank fills from the bottom. To do this, unscrew the base from the body. The body holds the e-liquid. When filling, you need to hold the body upside down and then pour e-liquid down the side of the Pro Tank. Be sure not to get any in the central hole, as this will come straight out of the mouthpiece. Fill the Pro Tank to just below the level of the central tube in the tank. And once this is done, continue to hold upside down and screw the base back onto the body. Always be sure when refilling the Pro Tank to hold it upside down to avoid any e-liquid spilling out. And please be careful not to get any e-liquid onto your skin. If you do, wash thoroughly with soap and water. For more information on handling nicotine, please see our e-liquid video and read the information on the Kik e-liquid boxes. Once you have filled your Pro Tank, screw it together with your battery. Be careful not to over tighten, as it only needs to be finger tight. The Pro Tank comes with a rubber stopper on the mouthpiece. This is a dust cover, so you can keep the mouthpiece clean between uses, but you will need to remove it to vape. For more information on the ProTank Clearomizer and how to change the coils for a longer life, please see our Clearomizer video. The Vapo2 battery has an on-off function so you can increase the battery life between uses. To switch it on is simple. Click the power button five times in three seconds. Once you've done this, a blue LED light will flash three times to indicate the battery is active. To switch the battery off, you simply repeat the process of clicking the power button five times. When the device is switched on, it's simple to use. Hold your finger on the power button and draw on the mouthpiece, inhaling the vapour. A Vapo2 battery will last an average user two to three days between charges. You know that the battery needs charging when the LED light on the power button flashes when you hold it down. To charge the battery, unscrew it from the clearomizer and then screw it into the charger. When unscrewing the battery from the clearomizer, be sure to hold the base of the Pro Tank and the body of the battery. This will ensure you do not unscrew the Pro Tank base from the Pro Tank body by accident, as this will result in e liquid coming out. Put the USB end of the charger into a powered device such as a laptop or TV. A red light will show on the charger. In two to three hours, this will turn green, indicating your battery is back up to full charge. And please do not use a USB wall charger, such as a smartphone or tablet charger. Also, do not leave the battery on charge overnight or leave unattended whilst charging. For full battery care instructions, please see our battery video. We hope this video was helpful and that you enjoy your Kik Vapo 2. Kik, it's a matter of taste.